Hello Astro Kids and welcome back to my channel. So today I don't really have a topic. I am still going through my review period during this Mercury in retrograde. I am going to pull a card for the collective and see what message comes through. I hope you're all having a decent time during this Mercury in retrograde. If there's any of you struggling or going through anything during this retrograde season, I am sending you love and healing through this process. I know a lot of you will be going through learning experiences and some hardships during this retrograde. And if there are any experiences that you are having this retrograde season or any lessons that you have learned, anything that you'd like to add about this Mercury in retrograde, go ahead and leave it down in the comment section. And if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any new content. Also, if you enjoyed this video, leave a thumbs up. And for those of you who don't know about Mercury in retrograde, Mercury is a planet dealing with communication, thought processes, technology, different things that involve logic, and routine and structure and so with mercury in retrograde meaning that it's appearing to move backwards some things are out of whack as of right now some people are noticing issues with technology their misunderstandings miscommunication and depending on where it is in your chart really depends on how it is affecting you but it is in Leo right now. And with it in Leo, we are feeling a strong desire to communicate boldly, to communicate authentically. So a lot of people I'm noticing are really starting to speak their truth, starting to speak authentically. And one of the things that we have to be careful of, though, with this Mercury transiting through the fiery sign of Leo is not to be too aggressive or too harsh in the way that we communicate. And it will move back into Cancer very shortly, where the communication style will be more geared towards feelings and expressing your emotions. And so a lot of us, we do have some emotional attachments and baggage that we need to release. And we do need to start to talk about our feelings and what we are going through as people. We need to start to come through from more of a authentic place in life. And so this is very, very powerful, this Mercury in retrograde. And especially as this is starting out with Mars conjunct this Mercury in retrograde. And so those of you who don't know about Mars, it is a planet dealing with passion and where we are directing and focusing our energy into. And so this planet that can be somewhat aggressive is pushing and directing for Mercury to find the answers to these situations that we are in. So this is definitely lighting up that Mercury in retrograde a lot. And so a lot of people I've talked to, they are going through these lessons and they're really feeling their intuition heightened. They're really feeling some 
strong desires to make changes in their lives. They're feeling some emotional issues and challenges that need to be worked out. And a lot of people are in a place where they really want to work on these issues and to really find a way to better themselves, which is great because this Mercury in retrograde gives us that time to review different areas of our lives, to look at the issues that we are going through and to really come up with a plan of how we are going to deal with these things that we need to face. And again, this really depends on where this is transiting through your natal chart. But this is definitely focused around being more authentic, speaking your truth with it in Leo, and it becomes even more emotional and about expressing your feelings as it moves back into Cancer. So this is a very powerful Mercury in retrograde. And I think that this is very important to note also with this eclipse season, we're looking at this eclipse energy dealing with the axis of Cancer and Capricorn. And so this is dealing with facing reality and expressing our truth, our authenticity, expressing our true feelings and releasing the things that no longer serve us, allowing ourselves to unpack what is old and outdated and no longer serves us so that we can move forward into the unknown so that we can face these things that are new and fresh and different. The things that we are afraid of tend to be the very things that we need to face or accept in our lives to better ourselves. And so this is a very, very powerful time. We are definitely shifting into a new paradigm and there is a lot going on in the universe that a lot of us don't necessarily see. There's things happening behind the scenes. The universe is definitely working in our favor to make things happen. And a lot of people are seeing like situations where things don't go as they want them to. And keep in mind that when things don't go as you would want them to, that it is usually because the universe is directing you from a place that isn't meant for you. And it's actually directing you and detouring you into a place that is better for you. So if you come upon a missed opportunity or something that doesn't go your way, keep in mind that there is something better for you that you are being directed towards. Keep that in mind always that everything is occurring for a reason, that the universe is in your favor. So if you hit a bump in the road or you don't go in the direction that you want to go, there's still something happening behind the scenes to support you, to benefit you on your journey. So I noticed that with the eclipse, the eclipses, that a lot of people are feeling that like there are situations that are out of their control, things that are happening that are not what people are looking forward to. So just keep that in mind. Also, something to mention as well, though, is with this, a lot of this, because we are dealing with cancer energy, a lot of this is really about trusting in your inner guidance, trusting in the plan that God has for you. So a lot of us who are trying to control things or trying to make things happen the way that we want them to, a lot of those same people are going to experience things happening not in their favor, things happening in a different direction. And this is really to show you that you should be trusting in your inner guidance. You should be allowing 
spirit to navigate you in the direction that you are meant to go in. It's not about control. It's about trust. You need to trust in the process and allow things to unfold as they are meant to be. Okay, and the card that came up, we have the Three of Cups. And so this is asking you to be social, to get involved with others, and to be expressive, to share, to be open. And a lot of us need this. A lot of us need this because we are going through different things in our lives. And there's a lot that people are carrying. It's almost as if we're trying to climb a hill and we're carrying this big backpack on our backs that's holding us back, right? A lot of us need to unpack this emotional baggage, this dead weight that we are holding on to. And so a lot of us need to just be social and to open up to people about our feelings and what we are going through. For others of you, there are those of you who tend to keep your truth or what you want to speak out against, what you want to say to yourselves. For whatever reason, there is a fear of not speaking your truth. So for others of you, this card is really asking you to be bold and to speak your truth and to be okay with that. It's okay right now to speak your truth. Again, with Mercury and Leo, this is really, really asking you to speak your truth. Now, again, you want to be careful because with this Leo energy, it can tend to be too dramatic, too bold, too harsh. So you want to speak in a compassionate way always, but you also want to be bold in speaking your truth. Never hold back your truth for the sake of protecting or being pleasing to others. Always speak your truth. So that was the card for everyone. That was my sort of update on Mercury in retrograde and how it's affecting me and how this is really affecting the collective. And something that I always say for Mercury in retrograde is don't try to force anything into action. If you guys have projects or things that you have worked on before this Mercury in retrograde, then go ahead and focus on completing those things. But if you have something that you'd like to start working on, it's best to wait. And this Mercury in retrograde is happening for the rest of the month. So a lot of you will have to wait to start on your projects until August, which if you can't do that, I can understand that. But for anything that requires force or action in any way, it is best to try to wait. This is really a time of self-reflection and review and to really look at the problem areas in your lives and the things that you need to work on. This is not a time to push anything into action. So that is all. I hope you all have a great day. Thanks for coming on and watching me. Again, don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any new content. And also don't forget to leave a comment down below if there's something that you'd like to add about this Mercury in retrograde. All right, I will see you in the next video.